through Queensbury. I'm heading out over Flappick towards Keithley. Haha, -ha, you must be going to the Yorkshire Dales, I hear you cry. No, today's ride is going to be a little bit different. It's a good ride. It's somewhere in the 102, 103 mile area. Lots of climbing. I'll be taking in, once I get to Keithley, heading over to Cone and Lanshaw Bridge, cutting back over the herders to Oxenhope, Hebden Bridge and more. It's a, a Pennine Hill Fest. It's Saturday the 29th of April and four days ago on the Tuesday I did the um, the ride with Home Moss. That was 73 miles, 6,500 feet of ascent and that started me thinking really what was the what was the hilliest ride I did in the days when I was a a proper cyclist and I thought well it has to be something in the Pyrenees uh, some of those like Tour de France stages were awesome I don't know how many meters or feet or whatever but I'm sure that they were three or four thousand meters maybe also in the Massif Central where I did some very uh, challenging rides lots of climbing and often with some pretty poor weather as well out there um, the resemblance to the Lake District of the Massif Central <laughs> on many fronts. So then I got thinking really in West Yorkshire, because that's where I'm riding now, what's, what's the hilliest ride? So I dug out my old training books, started pouring through, blowing the dust off, and I found, I found the ride that I'm going to try today. We didn't have Strava or any kind of GPS tracking in the 2000s just a, a front wheel magnet computer and a heart rate monitor so I know it's around 102.5 miles I've no idea the ascent but at the time when I was going pretty well 20 kilograms lighter than today probably 100 watts more threshold power I found it very very hard I actually said it's too hard because four days later my legs were still dead I completely uh, blew it in a race my legs were just dead so I'm steadily picking my way over from Cross Hills Ickenshaw towards Lanshaw Bridge not too bad there are a few cars around but uh, not too busy beginning the climb now from Lanshaw Bridge over to the herders we'll be passing the uh, the Atom Panopticon Although by then, I'll probably put the camera away. Need both hands. Good moorland views. Coming past the old herders, where the climb takes its name. Time for a little breather on this herder's climb. Time to look around. Wow, it's a heck of a pull over the side of Penniston Hill. Whew. And it comes after those awkward hills up to Stanbury. It uh, all adds up. Right. To get a bit of a breather soon. That's where I'm heading. Down to Oxenhope and then the moors to the right over Cockhill, down to Peckitwell and Ebden Bridge. Climbing out of Oxenhope to the famous Alpine zigzags. Aye aye.
Might have to change gear soon. <laughs> aye, aye. Heading now from Cockhill towards Peckitwell and then Hebden Bridge. It's a pedalling descent really. Uh, so I'm going to push some food in. I've, I've not eaten anything yet. I've done about 38 miles and it's been pretty hilly already and there's plenty more to come so time to push some multi flapjack goodness in uh, and then once I get to Hebden Bridge it's a short section on the valley road to Mytham Road before I then climb uh, Cragvale up to the White House coming to the top of the crag climb Blackstone Edge I, uh, I was caught up by a group of young fit greyhounds and uh, oh my goodness they were shifting I sat in with them for a mile or two ah uh, not today goodness me anyway I remember now what lactic acid feels like almost at the reservoirs I'll be turning right and dropping down Hollingworth Lake, which might be quite busy, and then heading over to Denshaw. I'm between Denshaw and Delft, which puts me in the Saddleworth district. Uh, I think I've ridden 61, 62 miles, something like that. It's turning into quite a warm, sunny day now. Feeling positively overdressed in uh, three-quarter tights and thermals and so on but so difficult to gauge when just four days ago I was wearing almost winter kit anyway on we go I'm a little over halfway on the sky climb oh dear me the traffic down in Greenfield and Upper Mill was horrendous one mile an hour if that stop start stop start I'm glad I'm not using old red look cleats that'd be worn out with all that foot down. Uh, and then then the GoPro battery decided to die. So I've had to stop and change it over. Oh. Anyway, calm down, take a breath and look around. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Stanage cutting. Um, which is in between Mahaston and Delft. Penultimate climb, hopefully. I've ridden 80 miles. Legs have gone. And I'm too warm. The temperature's rocketed this last hour or two compared to what we have been uh, riding through. Uh, but I think about 22 miles to go into engage, get you home mode. Approaching Denshaw, getting ready for the final climb over Buckstones, and sadly. It's going to be a headwind. Ah. Headwind and empty legs. What a combination. Buckstones is not giving up easily. I think I'm on the same gear that I used to get at home moss. <laughs> oh dear. Not far now. That's the end of the climbing just up there where the fence disappears. Well, passing the Buckstones rocks, which means I've got about 14, maybe 15 miles to go. It's been a, been a tough one. I'll be very interested to see the mileage and climbing figures when I get back. See what the Garmin and Strava come up with. Uh, I didn't think 
I was riding too badly till about 62, 63 miles and I got caught in all that traffic at Upper Mill and I never really seemed to recover after that whether I got too warm or just the mileage caught up with me I'm not sure anyway I've got to remember my signing off script because I can't remember much at the moment uh, that's all for this edition of Clipping In and I'll see you again next time for another outing on the Yorkshire Roads.